100 of the service Irving on Kaysabmont, 268 on service Irving in Naraville, and 700 in Naraville Extension 11. The machine donated by the Turkish Embassy will be used to make bricks to construct their dwellings in the allocated areas. Erastos, who spoke on behalf of the mayor of Wavas Bay, said she is aware of the shortage of land at the coastal town. She said they are working tirelessly to fast-track the planning process of Farm 37, which has been identified to develop a new township for decent accommodation, especially those living in backyard shacks. Therefore, it is our hope that this breeding machine will add value to the process of erect, er, erecting the many homes that will be constructed on this event as well as on the farm 37. The governor of the Erongo region, Cleopas Mochavikwa, said all the farm 37 will be a residential area for low-income groups, no shack structure will be allowed there. He added that there will be no excuse not to construct brick houses because the brick making machine will be available to everyone. In Namibia we have many categories of residents in our towns. Uh, amongst them we find the, the, the lowest category, we say the ultra low income category that are in majority. And uh, the aim of this machine is to ensure that the lower category of our residents are housing themselves. Chairperson of the Valves Bay Shack Dweller Federation, Naftali Utoni, received the machine. Our members, more members, are going to benefit because they are not going to buy the, the bricks, but now they, we, have to, we are going to make our own bricks. It will be a cheaper way to get more bricks. If you are going to buy the bricks, now the brick is too expensive. We're just going to buy the cement and the cement then we have to start our, to make our own bricks. He called on companies to assist the Federation with cement and sand.